Okay, the next thing we are going to do is talk about themes. First off, let's go take a look at what our site looks like. You know that if I hover up towards the top left, I have my instructional design home, but I also hover and I get this little pop down that says visit site. You can click on that and have it open. I always like to right click on that and open in a new tab. That way I can flip between the two simultaneously. Not that it has to be that way. You can do it either way you want. Just go to it directly and then you would get this particular menu that would take you back to your dashboard or have them running in two separate windows, whatever you feel most comfortable with. So here we have um, the home page set up and this is the confirmation that indeed I did get the home page to point to this page called home. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install a theme. This is the theme that I'd like to use for instructional purposes this semester. I, I have no problem with you installing another theme of your choice, but for instructional purposes for this semester, please use this theme. Um, at the end of the semester, if you want to flip out the theme and do something totally different, that's more than fine with me. But for instruction, uh, follow along. So I'm going to go under appearance, I'm going to go under themes, and of course I'm here, I'm going to click on add new. These are the three default themes that come in. I'm going to click on browse. Now in this particular case, I could click on featured. That's going to give me you know, examples of hundreds of different. I can click on popular, latest. Premium, of course, are the ones that you have to pay for and you certainly do not need to buy any themes for your coursework in general. You just generally don't have to unless you find one that is the absolute bomb. But in, the, in then our case, don't buy one. I'm going to come over here to search themes and I happen to know that the one I want to use for instruction is called Spacious. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type that in. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on install. It's going to think about that for a second and then come back to a page where it's already installed it. And I'm going to go ahead and click on activate. I could do live preview. That would kind of give me a sense of what it would look like. But for our case, I'm going to go ahead and click on activate. Now, just for the sake of understanding what that did for us, I'm going to click back here. I'm going to press F5 or refresh is this little tiny button up here and it radically changed our layout. Now, um, this isn't going to be the way it stays, but this is something that looks like uh, it has definitely changed.